Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or any Watchbox platform. It's in the description below. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing the Breguet Type 21 Flyback Chronograph, 42 millimeters in titanium. This model was launched at Basel World 2004 as a larger, more contemporary alternative to the 3800 and the 3820. So this is the 3810 in titanium. It is 42 millimeters in diameter by 15.4 millimeters thick by 50 millimeters lug to lug. If you include the solid end links of the bracelet, it has a broad stance on the wrist of 56.5 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. But because it is titanium and those lugs are sharply curved, it doesn't quite wear as enormous as the end link to end link measurement suggests. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and I'll do my best to remove the sleeve so you can see down the barrel, it does sort of arc around the wrist. So I'd say if your wrist is 15 centimeters circumference, or larger, you're going to be able to wear this one well. It'll sit firmly, secure, and look proportional. It's not a thick watch, but it's not a thin watch. I would give up on the tightest of dress sleeves, but a jacket should be okay. Here's your cuff shot, and then here's your over-the-top shot. The bracelet itself is well made. Relatively narrow link cross sections, I'll show you exactly what I mean, means that it almost has the flexibility of something like a Rolex President, which has similarly short cross sections for the individual links. The finishing is impressive. As you can see, there are polished intermediates, and they're polished at their inner faces. So this is polishing that you see best when you roll the links through the light. The rest is of satin finish, and you can see it's nicely executed with a little bit of taper where it joins the, the end link. So it's not a completely straight bracelet. It does flare to fit the end link, and that adds to the proportional effect. It looks more handsome. With many individual small links, on both sides of the clasp, you are going to be able to size this one fairly precisely. Note that the removable links are fixed by screws, so all you need is your jeweler's screwdrivers to fix this one to suit your wrist size. Breguet, you can see the clasp is a friction fit, but it has a tight tolerance, so it's quite secure. And we'll roll back to the case here. You can see the conforming end link profiles at the end of the bracelet. It has the characteristic Breguet coined case flank which, while slightly dress watch oriented, nevertheless works on this watch as it's been a long time styling cue of the Type 20, 21, and 22 families. The bezel, which you can see, is a combination of black and high polish, and it is bi-directional. So you can line this up with the minute hand, and then you can have an impromptu zero to 60 minute count up timer. Now, the other thing I will mention <clears throat> is that the watch is capable of timing two 60 minute intervals. You have a Lemania 1350-based caliber 584Q in this watch. So the central register for the minutes is a 60-minute chronograph register that's coaxial with the seconds. This makes a lot of sense. It's the same type of arrangement that Zinn uses on the EZM-1 and EZM-1.1. The Lemania caliber gives you that central register 60 minutes, which is a heck of a lot easier to read than a sub-register, and most chrono sub-registers for minutes are 30 minutes only, so this is a real advantage. It's also a flyback chronograph, as the Type 20s have always been flyback chronographs since the 50s. You can reset and restart with a single push of the trigger at 4 o'clock. What might appear at first glance to be a GMT or second time zone function at 3 o'clock is actually a 24-hour day-night distinction for the local time. So you know, for example, whether you're in the first half of the day or the second half of the day, and it's linked to the hands at center. So for example, if I turn the time, and that's a characteristic of these 1350 chronographs, you want to make sure the chronograph is stopped before you set time. But you can see that we're clearly at 5 a.m. because the loomed hand is in the first half of the day. You also have an hour counter and inset a date. One of the interesting characteristics of these Lemania 1340 and 1350 based calibers is that you can actually feel the winding process still engaged when you are operating the quick set of the date. Now the only feature it doesn't have is hacking seconds. So you've got just about every refinement you could want except hacking seconds. The movement beats away at 8 beats per second, pivots on 25 joules. It is a cam lateral clutch chronograph, and this caliber 1350 base is generally considered to be one of the greatest cam chronographs of all time, both for its precision and for its durability. All of this is 100 meters water resistant, which is uncommon for a pilot's watch, which tend to be water resistant to between 30 and 60 meters, depending on the brand. It has a 45 hour automatic winding power reserve, and again, these are very tough, accurate, and historically well regarded 
among the kings of automatic chronograph calibers to emerge from the late 60s and the early 70s. The 1350 is a true watch nerd movement, and one might say that the Type 20 series, including the Type 21, this is kind of a watch nerd series. The guy who just wants a pilot watch to be seen is going to buy a Rolex GMT or an IWC. The Type 20 series and the Type 21s and 22s have always been a bit more under the radar. That's one reason that will endear it to the watch enthusiast, regardless of brand preference. This timepiece has real heritage, because it is not the tradition, it is not the marine, and it is not the high complications that define Breguet. The only true historical model since the 1950s continuously in the catalog, the Type 20 pilot watches. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com to purchase this one. And we're back with the Type 21. You can see the loomed bezel and loomed dial features.